We've got Kara Diogardi and Ross Golan doing a songwriter Shark Tank. Tom Jackson and Amy Walter doing a live band makeover. Austin Cleon doing an incredible motivational speech about creativity and pursuing and pushing forward. And then we've got a great band, Enrique Chi and Making Movies, talking about art and activism and empowerment through music. So we're very excited about all four of those. Yeah, I love these because the individual sessions of which there will be dozens and dozens have a very workshop, tactical, strategic, nitty gritty type stuff. Here's how you use TikTok. Here's how you make a music video. They're very focused on specific questions. I think the questions these four keynotes answer are more universal. It's how do I make music that has an emotional connection? How do I stay fulfilled as an artist and keep changing and stay productive? How to be a more charismatic performer? Just sort of those large questions. So I'm excited about these. Yeah. And we can take them one by one real quick. The Kara DiGuardi and, and Ross Golan, you may not know their names. Ross has a, a very popular podcast called And the Writer Is. So you may know him from that. I've Talk to some folks that were like, oh, yeah, I absolutely know who that is. I love that podcast. Both Kara and Ross have enormous amounts of songwriting credits, songs that you have most likely heard by major pop artists, including Justin Christine, Bieber, Maroon Justin 5, Bieber, yeah. Uh, Christine Aguilera. Yes. Uh, Meatloaf. Pitbull. I was I was excited to see Meatloaf on the list. Yeah, the 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 writing credits for both of them are are insane. And Kara was also a judge on American Idol for a couple seasons. That session, what I love about that session is, is, is one artists are willing to put themselves out there. Like here I am, everybody in this room who is also an artist is going to listen to my song. And these two professionals are going to critique it live in front of everybody. It can be scary, but it's, it's also really scary. rewarding because you know, you get some really good feedback. Yeah, and and the thing is, we've done this similarly with Bob Boylan from NPR, and and the th the cool thing is, is one as terrifying as it sounds, the music and the quality has always been way above my expectation. To see a room of people being like blown away, and then we've had some success stories. Some of the biggest conference success stories have come from this session where. The panelists that were doing the critique were like, dang, this is amazing. We need to talk after this session. <laughs> and so that's what's been so amazing by that, just to hear the different styles that come out, the different approaches, and to hear that honest critique. And they do it in a, in a thoughtful way. They're not there to just rip people apart. If someone's listening and they're like, that sounds awesome, I want to do that, how do they get their music in front of these people? So you're going to bring a USB flash drive? with your song on it and hopefully nothing else on that flash drive. And um, hopefully it's something that you don't mind that it's somewhat disposable because we will put it in a box full of other flash drives. So unless you easily recognize it has your name on it, then, you know, we, you may not get it back, but uh, it is <laughs> put your name on it, yep. put it in a, in a it's sort of lottery style that they're going to pull these out and plug them in and, and hear the songs. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's, it's always a highlight. The other one that uh, keynote Tom Jackson and Amy Walter, that live band makeover Austin Cleon, he's, he's written a lot of books on creativity. And what really interested me in this session, first off, it was recommended by Gina Chavez, who was one of our keynotes in 2019 and has been a friend of CD baby and the podcast for many years. She recommended we get Austin and um, just diving into what he's about. And I just love the topic of creativity because I think we don't talk about it as much as we should as mm -hmm. artists. Agreed. And, and we spend so much time talking about marketing and how to get gigs and promotion and the business side of things. And I think we often neglect that creativity and cultivating creativity and the way he talks about it and writes about it, I think is just so great. And to me, this is the kind of inspiration that the keynotes, I think, really provide, like really excites you about making music because if we're not excited about making music 
and what we offer as artists and creative people, then, you know, the rest is just kind of who cares? You know, we gotta, yeah. we gotta be excited about our craft and growing our craft. 